Zach, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create some quick and easy videos using Lumens 5, um, which is a very, very um, user-friendly app that produces some really um, high-quality videos considering uh, that it's a free app and, and so simple to use. So let's get started. So let me begin by logging in. You can see the URL there. It's, pron um, it's pronounced Lumens, but the S is... They use a five instead of a instead of an S. So just be mindful of that when you're logging in. All right. Once you're logged in, a lot of times it's gonna just bring you to your dashboard, as you can see here. So it's gonna show you all the videos that you've made in the past. To create a new video, we're gonna click on the create video button on the top right hand corner. Now, they offer you a couple of options here, which just fully automates the creation of the video, um, which are some really, really advanced techniques. Um, I invite you guys to explore these options uh, sometime, you know, visit the website and start playing with it, check out how it works. Um, but what I'm gonna show you here instead is how to create a video from scratch using some of your own photos. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and click on start from scratch. And then this is one of the really cool features about it. You can create video, um, videos in different formats. So I think the most versatile is this first one, the landscape. This works really well in both Facebook and Instagram. Um, so you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. Um, but if you're gonna make one specifically for Instagram, then you wanna go with the, with the square format. And then if you're interested in making um, some stories ads, so if you wanna make some ads for either Facebook or Instagram stories and create them, you know, utilizing the, the full screen experience, then you also have this option where you can create a vertical video. Um, but let's go with the most versatile since we're just getting started and we'll choose landscape. And then here you choose the theme of your video. So what this, app does is that it basically allows you to create some really nice looking text overlay over your your video or your images so each of these shows you notice how when you move my cursor over it you get a preview of how the text overlay is going to look in the video so just kind of take a moment to browse around find the one that that works for you i'll just go with this option here And here we go. So here on the right side of the screen is where, is where we build the actual video. And what I want you to do is click on media. They've got a pretty vast library of, of stock images and stock videos that you can use. Um, I'll be honest, I've never really gone through them much because I, I typically use um, my own photos or, or my own videos. But if you find something in here that works for you, you know, fantastic. These are free to use. If you go to the uploads feature, here you'll be able to upload your own media and your own photography or your own videos. It's just a matter of clicking on the upload media button here. You then click on this window, search for the uh, either the, the JPEG or the photo or the video that you want to upload. So let's say I was going to work with this one here. I'll click open. I'll then click upload to upload it to Lumens. And here is my new photo that I just uploaded. And then to add it to the video is just as simple as clicking and then dragging and dropping. So you're gonna drop it into the first scene here. And then to modify the text, you simply click on it and then type over it, type whatever your message is gonna be. Very straightforward. You can, change, you can move and change the placement of the text. So if you go to text position over here, 
Notice that as I click throughout the grid, it's going to move the text anywhere, you know, wherever I, I click on it within the grid. So the idea here is to, you know, you don't want the text to compete with the image. Um, so place it in a place that it makes sense where it's not going to interfere with the image. I think this is the best placement for this particular photo. And, um, and also when you're adding text to another image, you, you definitely want to move the placement around. So don't, don't use or don't place the same placement, um, in the same scene, um, as you're making the video. So for example, I'm going to add a new scene to my video. All you're going to do is click on this little plus sign right over here and then click new scene. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to take our next image, click and drag. And what I was saying was don't place the text in the same location, right? Um, you kind of want the reader's eyes to move around the screen to kind of keep them engaged. Um, so, so just be sure to change the placement of the text with every frame and with every scene that you add. Um, so you saw how easy it is to add a new scene or a new frame. And the great thing about this app is that it's not just going to be a boring slideshow. What it's actually going to do is add some movement to your photo. Um, so if you click on the preview button right up here, you're going to get a preview of how it's going to display once the video is complete. Now, notice the advanced feature that each scene has. You can change the timing of each scene. So this frame is going to last for three seconds. And you can also change the animation style. So if you don't want it, you can have it pan left, pan right, zoom in, zoom out. You know, choose whichever one makes sense for the photo and how the photo um, and, and sort of the, the way the photo is positioned. Um, so play with those options, test it out. Once you're ready to, to get a preview and see how the video is going to look, you have the preview button right up here. Hit preview. And so notice the movement and the transitions in the video. So it does a pretty good job for it being such an easy app. Um, you might've noticed the last slide here is sort of the outro. So typically um, what you do here is you, you, you're gonna have just a plain white blank screen. And the idea is for you to add your logo here. So if you click here, you can change, you know, if you have your logo saved as a JPEG or a PNG file, as a photo, you're, you, um, what you'll do is you'll upload your logo there. So that way the outro or the closing of the video um, will display your logo. And then there's space here as well um, for your tagline or for a call to action. So typically I use a call to action. I'm telling them where to click. Um, but if you have a tagline that you'd rather use, this would be the time to, to add the tagline as well. Um, and then that's essentially it. Once your video is done, you've added as many scenes as you'd like, um, as much text as you'd like, et cetera. You've, you've completed the outro and you've added your logo. Then you're just going to finish it. Um, and also something to be mindful of as you're working on this, you can see how the length of your video as you're adding scenes and as you're modifying the time here, keep an eye on the full length of your video over here. Um, so, you know, you don't want it to be, you know, you want it to be 30 seconds max and that's, that's really pushing it. Um, so, you know, somewhere between 15 and 30 seconds, just to really keep, um, your, your viewers engaged, um, anything longer than that, you're going to lose them. All right. So once you're ready to publish the video, all you're going to do is click on finish. It's going to preview it one more time. If you want to add music, um, I believe I have the paid version, so I'm not quite sure if the free version has this, but you can, they, they have some licensed music that you're allowed to add to it. And then you can also change the resolution here. Um, so you can change it to HD resolution right off the bat. So that I would highly, highly recommend that. Once you're done, you're just going to click finish. And you're going to return to your dashboard. And it's going to take a few minutes 
for lumens to render your video. It's going to save 15, 10 minutes. It usually doesn't take that long. You know, you'll probably have it ready in about five minutes. In either case, lumens will send you an email letting you know that your video is ready to be viewed. And once it's ready to be viewed, it's going to look like this. So you just click on it. And now you can download it. So you'll download the MP4 file. And then that's the MP4 file, which you'll then upload into Facebook Ads Manager for it to be used on your campaign. And that's, that's essentially it. It's a very, very user-friendly app, as you could see. Um, you know, the key is to use some good, high-quality images of your own or try to see if any of the stock images that they provide um, make sense for your business. But at the end of the day, you're creating a pretty nice high quality video with some text overlay that, um, you know, that's going to take you, you know, once you get really good at this five minutes to make. So hope, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Looking forward to seeing the work that you create. I'll talk to you guys soon.